This problem says two cyclists leave a city at the same time, one going east and the other going west. The westbound cyclist bikes at three miles per hour faster than the eastbound cyclist. If after six hours they are 162 miles apart, how fast is each cyclist riding? This is an example of a uniform motion problem. We're talking here about some time and a speed or a rate and they want to know, and, and they also talk about um, some distance. This is one of those distance, rate, and time problems. And you should be familiar with the formula that distance equals rate times time. You should have used that before by this point. So I have created a table with rate and time and distance, because rate times time is distance. I also wrote as my row headings east and west because we have one cyclist that's going east and the other one that's going west. Now let's see if we can fill in this table with some of the things that we're given in the problem. This says the westbound cyclist bikes at three miles per hour faster than the eastbound cyclist. So whatever, however fast the eastbound guy is going, the westbound guy is going a little bit faster than that, or a little bit more. We don't know how fast the eastbound guy is going, so let's um, say that it's X miles an hour. Well, so however fast he's going, the next one is going 3 miles per hour more than that, which would be X plus 3. And I keep saying he just as generic. I realize these could be um, female cyclists. Who knows? It also tells us that they are going to be biking for six hours. So that tells us that this guy is biking for six hours and so is this one. Now because of rate times time equals distance, we can fill in our third column from the first two, those multiplication. So that's going to be six times x for the distance that the first guy is going and the distance that the second guy is going would be 6 times x plus 3. Now it also told us that the total miles that they were apart is 162, so their total distance away from each other is 162 miles. Here again we can use this to set up our equation because this guy's distance plus this guy's distance should equal their total distance. If you need to see that, think about it this way. You know, they start out from this particular point, and one guy is going one direction, the other guy is going the other direction. After six hours, they are so far apart. So this guy's distance plus this guy's distance together would have to be 162 miles. That's what that's saying. Let's create our equation now. So now our equation is 6x, which is the first person's distance, plus 6 times x plus 3, which is the second one's, should equal a total of 162 miles. Now let's continue solving. So we have 6x plus, I have to do the distribution here, 6x plus 18 will equal 162. And now combining like terms, we get 12x plus 18 equals 162. Subtracting 18 from both sides, we get 12x equals 144. And then dividing both sides by 12, we get x equals 12. So now what does this say? This says that the first person is going 12 miles per hour. Well, the second one here, the westbound guy, is going 3 miles an hour more than the first. So that says that he's going 15 miles per hour. Now we do need to double check that we answered the question. The ultimate question here said, how fast is each cyclist riding? So that would be 12 miles per hour for the eastbound and 15 miles per hour for the westbound. 